guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle perfume. This perfume holds a special place in my heart because it's been my signature scent since I was in college. Well, at least late college until my early working days. It was only during the pandemic when I stopped using this because I was running out. As you can see, I only have a little left of my old bottle. And the retail price here in my country is very expensive compared to abroad. It was only last year in 2021 when I was able to travel again and I was finally able to get a new stock of the Coco Mademoiselle perfume. For reference, here in my country, the retail price of the Coco Mademoiselle is about 10,000 pesos. When converted into US dollars, that's about almost 200 US dollars for this exact size. However, US retail price is only at 146 US dollars. So for me, it's such a big savings buying it abroad. So I never really want to buy here. So last year, I was finally able to get my restock over here and I haven't opened it yet. So I'll open it with you guys today. This one, because I got it from Judy Free, I was able to get it for only about 131 US dollars. So when I converted it, the amount I spent was only about like 6,800 pesos for this one and this was from Duty Free. So let me open this now with you guys so you can see what it actually looks like fresh out of the box. So fresh out of the box, it just looks like this. Ta-da! So it's kind of a little bit pink. This bottle barely has any juice anymore so you can't really see it but this is what it actually looks like full. So if you put it on like a white area you can see that it has like this pink tone to it. So I first want to talk about the notes of this scent and I'm just going to be reading off my phone. The top notes are orange, mandarin orange, bergamot, and orange blossom. The middle notes are Turkish rose, jasmine, mimosa, and ilang ilang. And for the base notes you have my favorite patchouli, white musk, vanilla, vetiver, tonka bean, and opoponax. What is that? This is actually the first time I am hearing this word, opoponax. Please correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I will do a quick research and put down the actual description of this, what opoponax exactly is. But that's basically it. Honestly though, what you really just need to pay attention to like from the smell, what I really smell is patchouli. I can smell a little bit of jasmine and ilang ilang very faintly and then a, a really really slight orange on like the first spray. But I feel like more or less those are the main ones that you can smell right off the bat with Coco Mademoiselle. If you've seen my Chloe Nomad perfume which I will link up above, I really like scents that have patchouli in them. So this scent from Chanel definitely has patchouli in it and it's actually the only scent that I really like out of the Chanel line because of the patchouli I feel like. Oh, I really love that sweet scent of it. I'm gonna do a quick spray of this just so I get the scent again fresh off the bottle. And I'm just gonna let it sit there. So it's a very fresh scent for me. I feel like what I really like about this scent is that it's a very subtle freshness. You don't really smell it right away. It's, it's not very strong, but once you smell it, there's something to it that will make you wonder like, what scent is this? It's not a very harsh scent where people will do a double take when you enter the room or something like that. It's nothing too harsh that will really stay in their noses. It's just a really sweet, subtle scent for me, which is why I like it. Actually, it's not... It's not sweet sweet, it's not like sugary sweet. It's more of a floral light sweetness. I feel like that's how I would describe it in words. What I also like about this is the longevity. The scent really stays on and I feel like that's one of the factors whenever I choose scents. I like choosing scents where you only have to spray it a little bit but it stays long and it's subtle. Because you know how there are some scents where you spray it and it's very strong and it stays there and the scent is just really strong. Or like if it's too sweet, the sweetness stays there for a long time. I mean yes, the scent stays but it's because the scent is strong. While this one, the scent stays even if it's a light fresh scent. For me, I only do three sprays of this. I do two on my neck and one on my arm and that amount lasts me the whole day already. With that amount though, it's not a head turning amount. 
I always like to just pray for myself and my friends can also attest to that one time one of my guy friends asked me like how come he only smells me when he's like this close to me like literally when we're walking side by side so the amount that I spray on isn't crazy enough to garner attention when I walk in the room although you can do that with this one but for me because I really like that subtle effect that subtle scent where you like really only smell me when you're in close proximity of me I really like that effect so I only do three so you can do more if you want that head turning effect but for me at my skin type just three is the perfect amount and it's a very subtle scent this scent is definitely great for every day as I mentioned I started using this in college my late years in college and so I wore that every day to school and it was just a good subtle scent for that I also wore it for work so yeah pretty much you can wear this every day and it's just a really pleasant smell actually if you want to use this as a night scent it would also do so you can just spray on more at night but I love it it's definitely one of those girly scents I feel like such a girly girl whenever I use this but the thing is as much as it's a girly sweet scent I feel like it fits a wide age range so I feel like that's something that you can wear in your early teens up to when you're already in old age like that's how versatile it is I feel like some scents tend to be suitable for when you're younger like for teens for example the juicy couture sweet scents I don't really know their names but basically yeah those juicy couture lines some Victoria's Secret lines which have like a lot of sweetness and you can really smell the candy in it so I feel like when it comes to those scents they're more for a specific age range whereas this one would fit any age I don't think I'll ever get tired of the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle as you can see, I'm already finishing. This is probably like my third or fourth bottle already. I finished quite a few bottles of this scent already, and this is something that I will definitely go back to again and again. I only have a few scents in my collection because I tend to stick to one when I really like a certain scent. And this Coco Mademoiselle definitely takes that top place. And honestly, I haven't found anything to replace it as of now. This will always be the scent that I will go back to and I will always associate this scent with the peak years of my life. So that was my very quick review on the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button down below to help the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to connect with me in my socials, it's at TrishDLM. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you could and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!